on the premise of his mission being something that you can come under. Don't just look at his good looks, his physical pulchritude, how nice he looks or how nice he talks. Can you submit to his vision? And if you don't have a vision, you have no business marrying him. If he doesn't have a mission and it's not clear that he has a road map for the vision, don't go near him. In fact, one of the first things you should ask a guy who's trying to suit you is, where are you going? What do you plan to do in your life? Because when I look at you today, I'm looking at a guy who may not be there yet, but I want to know, where are you planning to go? Because in suiting me, you're soliciting a help meet to help you with the mission. So what's your mission, Negro? What's your mission? What's your mission? What's your mission? And, and girls, you get to choose who you submit to. You get to choose. And if he's not going anywhere, doesn't know where to go, doesn't have a compass guiding, doesn't have a God positioning satellite system guiding him, you, you are going to end up being the head and he will be the tail. I didn't say the body, the tail. The proper order is he's meant to be the direction and you are meant to be the mobilization. He's meant to be the head, you're meant to be the body. But if the guy don't have a mission, you just, you're dating a tail. If there's a Negro beside you, tell him, get a head in life. You have no business talking to a chick unless you have a vision. A, a, an authentic vision that has been distilled from God, tailor-made to your specificity. And the meaning of her, the right woman, will cause you to embrace favor to facilitate the actualization of your mission. Guys, a mission makes a man look very handsome to a woman. I've seen guys that didn't have much, but they had a vision. And she says, why do you like? I just like him. What, what is it about? He knows where he's going. He knows what he wants to do. Does he have much? No, we don't even have a house yet, but I know he's going to have a house soon. He's on a mission. And his mission orated to her in, in their romance and their dating, it enlivens her and brings out her capacities. You've got to be submitted got to be submitted and you can tell when a guy is submitted because he submits to godly authority that he can see and to godly authority God himself that he cannot see he is well brought up by parents and if he didn't have parents he had mentors to whom he submits I am so keen now as I get older I can smell in submission and rebellion a mile off and I start turning away if I can't teach you I start moving away yeah and I just noted that be social be nice but that fellow is rebellious what does the Bible say about rebellion it is as the sin of witchcraft that's people trying to control the stuff that God is meant to use to control them and put them on the right path rebellion is a bad thing lift your right hand say father Every rebellious instinct in my Adamic nature, I put it on the cross of Calvary right now. I refuse to be rebellious anymore. I will be submitted to you and the systems you put in place. In Jesus' name.